Hi guys, welcome to our new course of uh, Marine Electronics. This is a, a wonderful course uh, dedicated to electronics. But uh, in this course we are going to analyze that electronics is not only the installation of electronic devices like uh, the radar, the GPS, the transducer uh, in, in a boat. It's more than this. Uh, we are going to use electronic concepts to solve the problems in engines, in generators, in water makers. Yes, because the majority of uh, the new equipments are electronics. 95% of the problems in a boat are electrical or electronic problems. The mechanical problems every day are less and less because uh, the equipments are great, great equipment, good quality. The problem is electronics. For that reason, the troubleshooting is critical. In this course, we are going to play a lot with troubleshooting. In this class, we are going to follow the textbook Marine Electronics. You can buy the textbook in Amazon in my webpage at www.mrlopezclasses.com. You, you can follow the procedure, you apply the click on books, and you select the books that you want. You found the books in a PDF form, be careful, this is not printable, the PDF form, or in paper. And also, during this class, we are going to study to take at the end of the class, if you want it, you are ready to take the NMEA certification. NMEA. And we are going to take the NMEA for installers. This is a great certification. We are going to prepare uh, in order to take that certification at the end of this class. Great. We have uh, the material. We have uh, the books, the study guide. Uh, I am going to explain the procedure later. To enter in the web page of uh, NMEA, National Marine Electronics Association, and uh, in order to register like a uh, member of uh, NMEA. Ready? We are uh, ready to start with uh, our uh, course of uh, marine electronics. I hope you enjoy this course. In this course, we are going to do great projects. Right now, I am going to explain in what moment we are going to do the projects. Uh, in the first uh, two chapters, chapter 1 and chapter 2, we are going to talk about robotics and electronic circuit. Yes, robotics. In our boat, we have a lot of robots. You remember? Give me one example of a robot. Yes, the autopilot is a perfect robot. The autopilot is a perfect robot, and we are going to study autopilots. The air condition equipment is an other perfect robot, and there are more and more equipment that are create hydraulic equipments, electrohydraulic equipments, perfect robots. For that reason, understand the phenomenon of uh, robotics is important. If you understand how the robots are created, how the, the circuit board is integrated with the brain, the computer, the systems, and the mechanical elements, this is a robot. There are a lot of robots in your boat. This is chapter 1 and chapter 2. We are going to try to understand what is the meaning of electronic circuits and how the electronic circuit with the mechanical devices and uh, electronic uh, uh, connections uh, create a robot. This is chapter 1 and chapter 2. Uh, in uh, chapter 3, ah, that's great. We are going to study the switches, the relays, and the solenoids. Without the solenoids, we don't have robots. Without solenoid, we, we don't have a, the connection in between the electrical signals and the mechanical movement. Those are the solenoids. For that reason, we are going to analyze in chapter 3 in details switches, relays, and solenoids. You remember in our previous classes of uh, DC current and AC current, we studied those uh, relays, the crank relay, the crank solenoid, and now we are going to uh, uh, apply those concepts to the electronic circuits. And we are going to check the difference between uh, electronic circuit, electrical circuits, yeah? And how those relays and those solenoids can be integrated in the circuit board in electronic circuit. That's, that's the chapter three. In chapter four, we are going to play with resistors. How important are the resistors, especially in DC circuits? Yes, with resistors, we can increase and decrease the output voltage. We can increase and decrease the output uh, uh, RPMs. We can increase and decrease the value in your radio. That's with resistor, with potentiometers. And we are going to play in this chapter with the procedure to read uh, the resistors, the color code for resistors, that uh, wonderful uh, table 
the color code for resistor, how to understand the resistor, how to connect the resistors in series, in parallel, in order to increase at the output the voltage, in order to increase at the output the impedance. Great. This is this chapter dedicated to resistors, chapter number four. In chapter number five, we are going to play a game with capacitors. You remember that video when uh, I explained the procedure to check the capacitors? Uh, the procedure to select the farads in the multimeter and check the capacitors and uh, verify if the capacitor is in good condition or not. You remember that, that episode? Yes, we are going to use that concept in order to understand those type of capacitors plus other capacitors, the ceramic capacitors, the electrolytic capacitors, and how those capacitors can be integrated in a circuit board. That's important, my friend. In the, in the, in the future, uh, you remember uh, the chapter dedicated to generators, uh, the voltage regulator, uh, what happens if you increase too much the, the voltage or the gain in the voltage regulator board, what happens with the capacitor? The capacitor explodes. Yes, we are going to refresh those concepts here in this uh, chapter dedicated to capacitor. This is the chapter 5. In chapter 6, we are going to check again transformers. A step up transformer, a step down transformer, isolated transformers, and we are going to verify how those transformers can be used in circuit. Remember that with the step up and the step down transformer, we can increase or decrease the output voltage in AC circuits with the step up and the step down transformer. Yes, those transformers can be integrated, small transformers, step up or step down in the circuit board. This is uh, chapter six. At the end of this chapter, we are going to create a great project. We are going to fabricate a, a rectifier. Yeah, the rectifier that you have in your home. You remember that equipment uh, to convert AC signals into DC signals to charge the cell phone? This is a rectifier. And we are going to create that rectifier. Yes, you will fabricate your own rectifier in your home. This is your project, and I am going to explain later that, that uh, uh, project. And the procedure to do the project, we are going to do that laboratory. Uh, the creation of uh, the rectifier. This is chapter 6. In chapter 7, 8 and 9, we are going to play with transistors, microprocessors and circuit boards. Yes, this is the, the final, the final uh, group of elements in order to create um, a circuit board. The transistor, we are going to understand what is the meaning of the transistor, how the transistors are used to amplify signals. Ah, that's wonderful, because the transistor, we have uh, amplifiers, amplifier of sound, amplifier of uh, light, amplifiers, and the microprocessor. How can you condense a big circuit board in a small microprocessor? This is magic. And we are going to uh, check how many microprocessors you have uh, in your computer, in your cell phone. A lot of microprocessors. And how much information can be stored and manipulated for microprocessors. This is a great, great chapter. Uh, this is uh, the chapter 7, 8, and 9. And now we are going to study in chapter 10. This is the beginning of uh, this electronic class for marine application. We are going to start to study the NMEA protocol, the NEMA protocol. And uh, we are going to study the NMEA 2000, uh, the NMEA 0183, uh, the different type of gateway uh, protocols used uh, uh, on the backbone of NMEA. All right, this is a great, great, great introduction uh, to understand what is the meaning of uh, the NMEA backbone and how can we integrate all the electronic equipment and electrical equipment in the NMEA backbone. And in the future, you can administrate in your cell phone your boat. You can start the engines, generators, air conditioning equipment in your cell phone in your home, and your boat is in the marina. Yes, because in the, in the NMEA backbone, in the NEMA backbone, we are going to integrate all the elements connected connected to the internet. And now you, can, you, you have access to those elements in your cell phone, in your computer. Exactly the same in the boat, the captain in the main screen with the touch screen is easy to administrate everything, engines, 
propulsion system, generators, water makers, air condition equipment, because everything is integrated. This is chapter 10, the protocols. In chapter 11, we are going to analyze the cables, the coaxial cables. Yes, we are going to use different type of coaxial cables, depending, depending on the antenna. Remember, we have a VHF antennas, we have GPS antennas, satellite TV antennas. All of those elements use different coaxial cables. In this chapter, we are going to analyze the different type of coaxial cables. This is chapter 11. In chapter 12, we are going to study the cables, the cables to integrate everything, the connectors and the network. Oh, that, this is a wonderful, wonderful uh, episode. In this episode, we are going to analyze uh, how to calculate uh, the, the maximum length of the backbone, uh, the maximum uh, distance of the drop lines, uh, the maximum amount of equipment that uh, can be connected in the NEMA backbone, and uh, uh, the terminal resistors, all, all the features related with this magic backbone. Uh, how it should be located, how it should be powered the, the backbone. Uh, where should be located the sources of power? What type of sources of powers are approved for uh, for those backbones? This is a great episode. This is the chapter 12. And now in chapter 13, we are going to analyze the radios. We are going to, uh, to study the SSB, single sideband radios, the VHF radios, and uh, the DSC. What, what happened? What is the meaning of that? We are going to analyze all the theory related with radios and communication. That's a wonderful chapter dedicated to marine radios, chapter 13. In chapter 14, of course, we are going to analyze the antennas, the different type of antennas, the protocols to install the antennas, the protocols to connect the antennas, uh, the recommendations of uh, uh, NMEA in relation with the distance in between the antennas and other e equipments and other cables, how to avoid electromagnetic interference because the electromagnetic interference can be can affect those uh, elements. Okay, this is a, uh, the chapter 14 dedicated to antennas. We are going to study the antennas in details. In chapter 15, great a chapter is marine autopilots. Yeah. In this chapter, we are going to use concepts that you learned before about hydraulic systems, concepts that you learned before about uh, electrical and electronic systems, and we are going to connect everything to create the autopilot. We are going to refresh the, the power steering system. You remember the power assisted unit, how the, the, the hydraulic systems can be integrated with the magic element, the computer of the autopilot. The computer of the autopilot receives the signal from the GPS and uh, receives the signal uh, from the, the computer and convert that signal in mechanical movement that steers the boat in one direction or other direction. This is the autopilot. Great, great chapter. It's a long chapter. Uh, you need to study, you need to see those episodes one time, two times, three times because there are a lot of uh, information in those episodes. This is the chapter 15 Marine Autopilots. In chapter 16, we are going to analyze the GPS. <laughs> that's, a, that's a magic element because uh, right now, today, with the GPS, it's possible everything. The GPS brings the information from the satellites. And uh, with that information, the computer, the computer takes decisions. Yes, the GPS today is the element that integrates integrate the cloud of information in internet with with the electronic devices inside of the boat. This is the GPS. Without the GPS, the life today is practically impossible. You have GPS in your car, you have GPS in your boat, you have GPS in your cell phone, and the GPS, the GPS follow you step by step. We are going to analyze the theory related with GPS, not only for marine applications, the GPS in general, we are going to study uh, the protocols of the GPS, how the GPS, how is the communication in between the GPS and the equipment. That's the chapter 16, great, great chapter. And uh, in chapter 17, we are going, in, uh, 17 and 18, we are going to study transducers, radars, and satellite TVs. Uh, those are the last chapters 
uh, transducers. How important are the transducers? The transducers are your eyes in the bottom of the boat. The transducers are using like a fish finder to check, to check distance, to check temperature, to check speed. The transducers have a lot of functions uh, in, in the boat. Of course, the transducer is integrated integrated with the rest of the electronic devices and all of them are integrated in the backbone and, and the backbone connected with the, 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 the cloud of our internet because the GPS bring the signal. Yes, we are going to analyze type of transducer, type of radar, fish funders, uh, uh, the installation of the transducer and uh, the location of the transducer. This is uh, chapter 17 and 18. And uh, yes, my friend, this is uh, uh, basically our course of uh, electronics. It's a great course. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoy uh, this class, this course. Uh, it's a course of uh, 80 hours and uh, a lot of information in the videos. I recommend check the videos and uh, please uh, apply uh, the bell in my videos uh, if, if you consider that the video is uh, useful in your career. Thank you uh, for being here with me in the next coming class and uh, I hope you enjoy this wonderful marine electronic class.